So let's take the first question. Tayyab Ali from Bihar, India, but is living in Kyrgyzstan. He asks, is there any use of the knowledge that we acquire in this world in the Akhirah? The knowledge can broadly be classified into two categories. The first is the spiritual knowledge, the knowledge of the Deen. In this, there is some part of it that is compulsory for you to gain. For example, how to offer Salah, regarding fasting, regarding giving Zakah. So you need to know this knowledge regarding the Ibadat, regarding worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The second category is the worldly knowledge. The worldly knowledge can broadly be classified into three more categories. The first is the knowledge that will take you away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For example, learning music. This knowledge, it is prohibited for you to learn because it will take you away from the deen. It will take you away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The second category in the worldly knowledge, it is the knowledge that neither takes you away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala nor gets you closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this, it is mubah. It is optional. If you gain it, you will not get reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you leave it, you will not be sinful. And the third category in the worldly knowledge, it is the knowledge that gets you closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For example, you learn science. In order to do dawah to the non-Muslims and to prove to them mentioning the scientific points that are mentioned in the glorious Quran. So if you learn science with this intention, inshallah you will be rewarded. So the spiritual knowledge, it will help you in the Akhirah. The worldly knowledge, if it takes you away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it will not help you in the Akhirah. If it gets you closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then inshallah, this worldly knowledge, it will help you in the Akhirah and you will be rewarded for it. If the worldly knowledge, if it does not take you closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, nor it takes you away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is mubah, this is optional.